social justice warriors are ruining sports. I've said it before and it's not stopping anytime soon. The latest example of this is over on the LPGA Tour where last week it was announced that they would be changing their dress code to require the ladies on tour to dress more modestly. Officially banned are plunging necklines, tight leggings as pants, and no more short skirts will be permitted on tour. Now despite this seemingly rather conservative move, I actually think this is indeed a social justice warrior maneuver to try to limit the sex appeal of the tour's most attractive athletes because that is sexist and misogynistic. But is it? Well, if you ask two professional golfers in Lexi Thompson and Paige Spirinak, they are not happy about the changes to the dress code. Thompson, who turned pro at 15 years old, is now 22 and an eight-time winner on tour, including one major championship, and she currently ranks as the number three female player in the world. She immediately took to Instagram to mock the new dress code with a rather cheeky picture of what women dressed like at around the turn of the 20th century. Meanwhile, Spiranak's critique was a little more poignant. A New York Post article featuring Spiranak suggested this week that the golfer, who does not yet have her full-time LPGA Tour card, believes her boobs are just too much for the LPGA Tour. Spiranak, who may be more well known for her Instagram posts than her performance on the course, did insist that, quote, I may not go down in history as the best female golfer to ever play. However, my intent is to do whatever I can to grow the game." Unquote. Growing the game of golf and women's golf is a challenge, but when we consider that whether it's the major four professional sports leagues or individual sports like golf and tennis, that the viewership is mostly male and the ratio doesn't really change much between men's and women's sports. So why then is it so wrong to appeal to the natural instincts of men? It is absolutely not sexist or misogynistic to allow the very attractive talent on the LPGA Tour to wear plunging necklines and short skirts. Nobody is asking these women to play in bikinis. According to numbers compiled back in 2011 by Sports Business Daily, fans of the LPGA Tour are 63% male. Compare that to the men's PGA Tour and things are exactly the same. It's 64% male fans. Well, what does that mean? It means that if men are your primary audience that you market your tour to, then why on earth are you giving them just another reason to change the channel, lower your ratings, and dry up your corporate sponsorships? Current HBO and former ESPN sports personality Bill Simmons summed up the difference between why women's sports like golf and tennis get decent viewership compared to, say, women's basketball and the WNBA, stating back in 2006, quote, Well, the vast majority of WNBA players lack crossover sex appeal. The baggy uniforms don't help, unquote. And neither will this change to the LPGA Tour's dress code. But before you feminists or beta males out there get on my case and say, Christopher, we know the only reason you're against this dress code is that you want to stare at Paige Spiranak's breasts or Lexi Thompson's legs while they're playing, meanwhile ignoring their talent. Well, first, let me tell you, as an avid golfer, any woman who can play the game and crush 250-yard drives, I'm going to be attracted to them. But thinking about what my female friends talk about when they attend sporting events, well, it's generally focused on the tight pants of the football or baseball players, or the overall husband material some hockey player might be. Some would argue, probably correctly, that it is the male athlete sex appeal that brings women's sports fans to the stadiums and gets their eyeballs on TVs. So why the double standard? Because social justice warriors are ruining sports. That's why. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. If you like topics like this one, make sure you click subscribe to the Rebel Media's YouTube channel and our Rebel Edge YouTube channel as well.